All right, welcome everybody to our first look at AA7 versus AAO. The AA Civil War in a sense, but I know these teams, I don't believe that they are um, sub-clans or whatnot, just the names. So let's take a look. So AAO has uh, Vasca in a Gdansk, Esguera in the Shimakaze, that's a torpedo build. I'm sure that's a 12, so let's take a look. No. Guys, look at that, they're eight. He's got eight kilometer torpedoes in the Shimakaze. Interesting. That means he can try to assassinate things with those. Uh, double Napoli, so we got Hitman, Hit Mark. I always called him Hitman in the last tournament too. And then Total Pepega. Uh, slight, very slightly different build. You'll note that uh, one is running Sansonetti and the other is not. Interesting. Why wouldn't you take Sansonetti for uh, the uh, buffed um, uh, gun feeder. Anyway, Nicey Nader is in a unique upgrade Des Moines, and Sirius Sniffer is also in a unique upgrade Des Moines. Uh, and Blackberry is in a Hanover. It's our first look at the German super ship today, super battleship today. All right, moving on to AA7. We've got, it's it's I, Jasper, in the Napoli with uh, pretty much going full into the secondaries other than the, the uh, main battery. Uh, Professor Quadruple X in a Des Moines. Um, we got Serret 01 in a Napoli. So two Napolis for them as well. Also going pretty heavily into secondaries. Arctic in the Ohio with Sniper and Quickscope. So he's got the turret traverse uh, to try to get there. Here's, here's AA7 bringing an Edgar. That's another super ship. That's the, uh, the British light cruiser line. And Session 69 in a Stalingrad with Reload instead of Range. Interesting. This is a very large map. I would expect him to be taking uh, Range instead. And Disaster Piece 666 in a Kleber heading towards Seacap as quickly as possible. But he's got Asgera and the Shimakaze coming that way too. back off a little bit. We've got some big shells coming in to Black Blueberry's Hanover. Yeah. Disaster Piece is going to be forced to back off. He put his reload booster on to the Gdansk, but he's taking some serious hits, though. The last tournament, the Warships Classic Tournament, this was probably one of the craziest games I've ever seen. A7 almost got knocked out of the tournament on uh, day two of the four-day tournament. And they held on on this map. And I, I just couldn't believe it. Like just the, the biggest comeback I've ever seen casting a tournament. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, AAO we saw in the last tournament as well. Both teams ended up doing quite well. A7 made it all the way to the end. Almost. I think they came in third or fourth. Thanks, everybody, for sharing a little bit of weather report. It's always fun to, to see how, how the world is <laughs> outside your windows because we're stuck inside, you know? Can't touch grass right now. All right, apologies, needed to get some water. So, not much else to report on yet. Neither teams really cared about the, uh, the, the uh, typical island spot over here. I think that's partly due to the, the cap layout changes. This is the clan battle cap layout setup instead of the, the more uh, tournament setup, so. Des Moines, nicey nader, some torpedoes going by him, but I think he'll be, yeah, he's fine. Shimikaze goes into CCAP. Note the Stalingrad radars, but because he backed up so far, he doesn't actually detect the Shimikaze. Oof. Now 
Total Pepega is uh, by himself in the Napoli with two Napolis charging him. That's a precarious position for him. He's got his plane up so he can try to get his secondaries off on the target. And there he goes with the secondaries. He fired, looks like he fired his main battery too. I don't know why he'd want to do that with two Napolis over there, but okay. He probably doesn't know it's two. He thinks it's one. Uh, Siri hasn't been detected yet. Jasper has, but Siri has not. We'll find out soon enough as two sets of sap shells come into his one. Now he is trying to force these guys to chase him so that the Des Moines has broadsides. But I do like how AA7 is trying to set it up so that both of the Napolis can work together. I just feel like Jasper is a little bit too far forward. And now the, the gig is up. Surya 1 gets detected because he's not quite in the smoke. Torpedo is going to hit Jasper. He's going to take two. Oof. Bad hits there. Meanwhile, Professor in the Des Moines is pushing up, trying to get into a position to support his uh, double Napoli push. And look at the eight kilometer Shimakaze F3 Torps. These things are fast. Meanwhile, back over at sea, AAO has picked up the sea cap. Cessna 69 Stalingrad is backed up far enough so that he can try to help influence the battle on the A side. This is where that range upgrade would probably be more beneficial than the reload, but we'll have to see. Jasper continuing to be shot at. He is quite low. He will probably be the first to die because if I'm right, yeah, he smoked already. So uh, he's going to probably try to dive this island. That, that's what I would expect. And remember, this is our look at, at uh, ELO 1. So these are the highest win rate teams in the last season clan battles. All right, Professor does get on the A cap that stalls the cap, and the two ships are just hydroing each other. So Sniffer has to deal with all of these sap secondary shells. You also have the Ohio that's trying to make his way around Arctic. Doesn't want to stay out in the open. I like his Garashima Kaze positioning, though. Look at where he's moving. He's getting in a position to assassinate Professor should he come around in the Des Moines or possibly assassinate the Ohio. Jasper is showing a bit of side there. Oof. Because he's pushing, he's opening up flank angles. He has to angle to either Sirius Sniffer's Des Moines or Pepega's Napoli. And there he goes. The enemy is about to win. There's the uh, eight kilometer torps. Figuring that Arctic is going to come closer, turn in. Shimikaze is turning away. Will these torps hit? Nope. Don't have the legs. Kleber goes down all the way on the other side to hit mark. He does trade though. Fidget Spinner Island claims another victim. Black Blueberry has a shot on Professor Des Moines from their stern. Big hit there, big slap. Here comes another salvo. He probably figures he's going to get rammed by Session 69 Stalingrad. He wants to get this Des Moines off the board if possible. Another decent hit. Funny button is on for all the secondaries that can, can be. But I just don't see him surviving this unless somebody forgot a ram flag. Oof.
does take maximum damage. Now, because of the fact that it wasn't a full-on ram, uh, Blueberry took less damage from that ram. Uh, so Stalingrad dies. Blueberry is able to heal up all that ramming damage, but he's got to wait until his heals are available. It's another 51 seconds. Meanwhile, let's get into uh, the next rack of Shimakaze torpedoes. So far, these two port torpedoes have been ineffective just because of how short range they are. Look, they're eight kilometers, so he's got to get closer in order to make them work. I have a feeling that he thought or was planning on taking eight at the, the 12s and doesn't realize that he's got the eights. Firing a little early there as he smokes up. That tells Professor where he is. And there goes uh, Sirius Sniffer's Des Moines. And Nicey Nader just shows up in another Des Moines and says, Here, me next. Meanwhile, look at the border. Napoli on Napoli action. Arctic finally goes down. As Gara is so frustrated in the Shimakaze not being able to land torps, he switched to guns. He's too far for missiles. He's shooting, he's switching to guns. <laughs> Think about that. And we like that. Just with that, uh, A7 is down to two ships. It's about to be one ship. Quite the graveyard over here. As Gara switching to AP and Ashimakaze just to try it, I guess. Double turrets destroyed. Professor takes out the Gdansk and rams. <laughs> look at look at this graveyard right here. Look at all these ships sinking. Love it. Meanwhile, Edgar, all that remains for Team AA7. Black Blueberry is just going to walk in to uh, to the B cap. Now, Edgar versus Napoli Shimikaze. They know A7 knows that the Napoli is low health. As a matter of fact, Pepega, it almost looks like he just tabbed out of the game or something because he just kind of crashed into the border. He's just chilling. Um, what, what the Edgar is hoping to do, of course, is find Asgara Shimakaze. He's actually shooting torpedoes. And I believe this was the Gdansk smoke. So he figures maybe that's where the Shima is. Of course, the Shimakaze has radio location, so he knows where the Edgar is, right? Edgar has its ability to radar. He does not have radio location, so he's just sailing blind right now. He's got his Hydro up. I mean, those Torps don't have a chance of hitting him anyway. And remember, this is going to be a, a two-game series. So we will be bringing you another game regardless. What? Single fire torps at the Hanover. Radar catches the Shimakaze off guard. As Gera isn't running. Because of time. All right, well, there you go. I'll get a not-so-death pick of the Edgar here. So congratulations to AAO for their first win. We're going to move from there to Northern Waters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game two of AA7 versus AAO. 
Currently, AAO is up one game. This is a best of two. In other words, both teams play two games. They're all about getting points. They want to be the highest uh, point team on the uh, in their group. Uh, so anyways, let's take a look at this. We've got Nicey Nader in the Gdansk. Uh, v Vasca, 358 in the Gdansk. We saw him do some crazy things in Des Moines, if I remember right, in the last tournament. Uh, Sirius Sniffer is in a Marseille. And we've got Total Pepega in a Piemonte now, so they have promoted him to a super ship. Uh, Hitmark is in a Napoli. Esguera, also promoted to a Stalingrad. And Black Blueberry in our first look at the Loria. Interesting choice to take out the Loria. Um, and is in a typical um, battleship build with improved repair party readiness. So he needs to somehow farm 200 or 2 million potential damage. Get that extra consumable charge. Opposing him to the south is a a seven. With them is Disaster P666 and a Grozovoy. Hessar 1975 and a Houghton Lu. First time seeing Houghton Lu today with the unique upgrade. Very interesting. Gives him an extra charge of his uh, Dutch oven airstrike. Professor, once again, in a Des Moines. Session 69, instead of Stalingrad, is now in a Napoli. Arctic is in a Satsuma. Uh, it's I, Jasper, in a San Martin. And uh, Serrit 01 in a Napoli, heading towards the sea cap. So AA7 looking probably to push over at A, but the Satsuma heading to C makes me think they're going for more of a balanced approach now it's difficult so you guys understand when we talk about flags it used to be a lot easier to see the flags that that ships are taking you can't really see them anymore i used to spend a lot of time looking at flags because you know some people don't bring debt flags and you laugh about it right um i'm not seeing a ramming flag there but it's really hard to see especially with a moving ship so I'm just going to back off because it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> um, both caps grab the uh, the easy cap, so to speak. And both teams start uh, launching their torpedoes across the A cap. Disaster piece. Backing up broadside. You don't do this. Oh, <laughs> that is a brown alert right there, everybody. That was really close. How Lou is setting up to support. Piemonte detected. Nicey Nader radars. Because Grosvoy got in the cap for a sec. And torpedoes. Nicey Nader is going to take one. Ouch. Forces out the DCP. So now he's got, he's, he's, I'm sure they're telling their team, right? Our, um, the Gdansk DCP'd. Get him on fire. Dutch oven came in. Nice hits there. Took out a torpedo. And now Nicey Nader is going to have to just sit here for a little bit. Uh, he is ticking. He is burning as well. So that caused a fire as well as uh, stunning his torpedo tube. Fire has been extinguished. It's one of the reasons why in a destroyer you always want to take the fire reduction flag. Disaster piece just gets clobbered by Pepega's sap. Look at that. That forces the de the uh, the heal. <laughs> but uh, he's choosing not to DCP the engine brake. I don't know about that. Personally, I would DCP that. Just have the engines available again sooner. But more importantly, he loses an 
awful lot of maneuverability. Engine boost up again. And he's stopping. This guy. All the luck. All the luck. Let's take a look at the other flank. AAO starting to march down the east side of this map. So A has pretty much be, be turned into a no man's land. And it's worth commenting, two ships have held back four. AAO getting some really good work out of those two ships. Black Blueberry continuing to push down south. Cerdo 1's Napoli literally being shoved into the corner. It's going to be, ba he's basically being perma spotted by this, uh, by Vasquez Gdansk. So, really good play there. Both Gdansks doing really good work on either sides of the map. As Master uh, Disaster Piece, I should say, uh, finally gets into the A cap. I mean, they have to know they got to make a play at A and and get out of there. As a matter of fact, look at A7 rotating the Napoli and Howden Lu. So Des Moines has made it up to the island. Professor is up to this island. This is the island you get at. You, you control this cap if you can get to this island, usually. So Professor is going to hold this cap, and that's going to allow A7 to rotate everybody else off of the A side. Torpedoes from San Martin on Black Blueberry's Loria. He's going to take one. He takes one. Let's look at his rever revenge salvo. Decent chunking there. And there goes Loria. Satsuma speaks and Loria sinks. Right there. Great shot from Arctic. Stalingrad now moving into mid position there. He's going to try to threaten the sea flank or the sea cap. Seri does finally go down. We, we kind of knew that was going to happen. And look, he died almost literally on the exact corner of the map over there. Wow. Dutch Ovens coming in on Asgara's Stalingrad. If those hit, they could do some good damage. And look at Professor's Des Moines actually pushing through the uh, that island there. Grows away versus Gdansk. Disaster piece survives <laughs> Asgara's hits. Wow! Takes down the Gdansk. But Piemonte, Pepega speaks as well with his sap, and another big slap on Disaster Piece, who's still on Asgara's radar. Next salvo could end him, and it does. Disaster Piece going down. I like the decision to rotate. Both teams actually choosing to rotate at about the same time. But the difference, of course... differences um aa7 still has their satsuma they've got their super ship available jasper now opening up with the san martin trying to charge up his funny button his heel is about to be used up now watch the cooldown numbers 170 seconds. This is cooldown numbers. If he's charged up, if he's charged up his uh, funny button, he's going to use it now, and now it goes down to 22 seconds. That's how you use the San Martin. That's how you charge it up. But there's so many conditionals that it doesn't. I don't. I don't feel it matters. Like he forgot to use hydro, and he died. Look, he got the funny button off, but that was just a complete waste. Oh well. Poor A7. Asgara is probably going to go down, though.
Piemonte with AP into the Napoli side. The enemy is about to win. Session 69 desperately needs the Stalingrad dead, like yesterday. Okay, he does get killed by secondaries that allows him to focus on serious sniffer. Um, little bit of a delay there in trying to go dark. Unfortunately, he's able to uh, dodge all those shells. He's okay. Gdansk radar picks him up for a few seconds. But the Marseille is able to run away. Oh, those are the Satsuma guns you heard. Let's see what happens. Oof, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. AA-7. Looking strong, but they... Let's see, I'm trying to see. They don't have the caps, though. They need another cap, and they need a kill is really what they what they would love to have. Pabega on the Piemonte could work. Radar up to try to detect the Piemonte. There he is, right on the extreme edge. Professor knows he's got a broadside on him. Pepega is just going to back off. Here comes some torpedoes. Oh no, Session. Session's Napoli is going to go down. When that happens, AAO is going to have a pretty good lead. There it is. There's the points flip. And now they've got, again, two caps that they're gaining points on. That San Martin charge and throwaway could very well have uh, decided this battle. Kind of surprised they didn't go for Pepegas Pimonte. I thought they, they would have had Ark to go up that way and try to get that kill. You can see the Marseille now also getting in on this with AP into Arctic side. Oh. Reload boost? Oh, he's out of reload boosts. Meanwhile, the Satsuma angrily firing his guns into Vasca's smoke. That's a, that's a sign of frustration right there. Let's take a look at this Napoli Hao Lu fight. Arctic's going to go down, and when that happens, that will be the game. I don't know why Arctic wasn't looking at Napoli's broadside here. I think he's... No. He's still looking at the Marseille. That made no sense to me. Oh well, that'll do it for this game. That's a pretty fun death pick. AAO with a 2-0 sweep over um, AA7. The O's have it. Let's put the winner screen up.